Welcome back. As we've been talking about all morning, it's a day of remembrance in central Iowa. Today we lost two police officers one year ago. Mm. We want to bring Eric back in now. And uh, I know you'll remember this moment we're about to share here, Eric. Just a few yeah. hours after the shooting, a woman arrived at one of the scenes with a gift for the officers there. Take a look. I can't even imagine. This is the only thing I know I how to help is to feed. <laughs> And I want you guys to be hydrated and not be hungry. And I want you to go home to your family because I want my dad to come home to me. And I want my friends to come home to me. And I'm sorry. And it's I'm just here. a simple act of kindness there, but it touched so many. I know it did for us here, and it was just such an emotional day, uh, Eric. But it was, it was so great to see a moment of kindness then in, in the midst of such tragedy. Yeah, you see those tears rolling down the officer's face there. And, and, and you could say, you know, it's just water. But there it was such a helpless feeling a year ago this morning because we all wanted to do something, but there wasn't really much to do. And that's why so many people in the days and weeks following put those blue lines on their car. They put the blue light bulbs in front of their house. I just saw some this morning as I was driving through Urbandale. Everybody wanted to do something even though there wasn't really much to do. And so you just show support. And we've been seeing some of that also on Facebook this morning. We saw a senior officer, Ned Chido, posted a, a post about his friend, uh, Anthony Bominio, and he wrote, only after he was gone did I truly realize the impact that he had on so many parts of my life, being a dedicated father, a loving husband, and a hard worker. And the only thing left to do is pass on the many lessons he taught me he wrote, I am thankful every day that our paths crossed, and I am truly a better person for it. Absolutely. Well, some of you are also writing on our KCCI Facebook page. Kathy said, mm -hmm. sad day of remembrance for the officers, families, and co-workers. Their broken hearts have not healed. No words a year later. We will always back the blue. Tina said, I will never forget this day and the days that followed. Being friends to the Martin family and watching Justin grow up made it very difficult. D, their families are in my prayers. For me personally, um, the officers on duty are on my mind. To watch mm -hmm. them unfold that day and their emotions that they were going through, I mean, I just remember it like it was yesterday. And I know it's. Yeah, Ray, right. they've been showing up here at the Urbandale Police Department all morning. We've seen them go into the door and they continue to do their job protecting our communities.